Power control gives you a mechanism to curtail your site. That can be automatic based on the providers you're working with. That can also be manual. So for now, we're gonna forget about the automation and we'll just focus on manual operator intervention. So maybe a curtailment service provider, a CSP, rang your phone and said, hey, tomorrow at 2 p.m., you're gonna to need to curtail your site and come offline. In that event, I would click single run. When's it gonna happen? We'll say in the future. You can also perform curtailments immediately. So if it wasn't a future run, I could say run something now. So maybe we're doing maintenance on a generator or our plant and we need to bring the facility's consumption down. So back to that CSP conversation, we'll go ahead and schedule one in the future. It's gonna to happen tomorrow, we'll say 2 p.m. What's gonna happen? We're gonna power down the mine. You're able to tell Foreman what miners it's able to operate on. So just like triggering, you can say operate on any miner or all miners. You can also subset here. So if you wanted to target a specific IP range, a specific customer, a specific type. So because we know this is a site-wide curtailment, we're gonna say Foreman, you can operate on every miner at this facility. How will Foreman select? I'm gonna assume that you've associated your PDUs into your sitemap as infrastructure, and you've also associated attributes of your power phases to your sitemap as well. When you have PDUs entered and you have power phases entered, Foreman can now perform a phased balance curtailment. So our selection method will appear when we have those two pieces, PDUs and power phases. And now I can instruct Foreman this needs to be a phase balance curtailment, so we don't want to compromise our PDUs. Control target, what are we doing? So we've said, Foreman, you can operate on any miner in this facility, but what are we trying to do? We can reduce your consumption by, so maybe we want to reduce it by 10 megawatts. We can reduce it to, so maybe down to 10 megawatts, or every single miner in the system. So Foreman, you're allowed to work with every miner, and Foreman, I just want you to turn off every miner. So I don't have a target here, I want you to hit zero. Target time specifies how long we have to run the curtailment. It's not how long the curtailment will last. So if you specify a target time of five minutes, that means that tomorrow at 2 p.m., Foreman will bring every single miner at the facility offline, balancing our power phases as we're curtailing, and it will spread that curtailment ramp down evenly across a five minute window. So if your infrastructure is not able to handle 100 megawatts coming offline in 10 seconds, you might want to use target time to make it like a nice even spread, this linear reduction. If you're lucky, you can specify zero and just say form and go ahead and stop the world. Now, maybe the CSP said it's an hour long curtailment. So we would schedule a run for two o'clock. So we'll go ahead and schedule that one. Now that we've scheduled the run to happen at two and we're going to be powering down, maybe the CSP said it's an hour long curtailment. So we're gonna schedule another run. This will again be in the future. And we'll schedule that one for 3 p.m. So it's a one hour long curtailment. The difference here is the power direction. We're gonna change it and power up. And again, just like before, we want it to be a phase balanced power up. We want Foreman to turn every miner back on. And we're gonna say, you've got five minutes to bring me back online. We'll go ahead and schedule this run as well. Now we have tomorrow, October 5th, a 2 p.m. curtailment. We're powering down the entire mine, phase balanced. At 3 p.m., one hour later, we're powering up the entire mine, phase balanced. There's a lot of avenues for automation here too. So Foreman can connect directly to your CSP. And if they happen to send a demand response dispatch and tell you when those windows are happening, if they can do it through a phone, that can happen through software. So that message can come directly into Foreman. That could be Voltus, CPower, any CSP. That message comes into Foreman. We automatically schedule your ramp down. We automatically schedule your ramp back up. So now you never miss a curtailment window. Power control works by sleeping the miners. So it's not a kill of power to the miner. Generally, when you're curtailing a facility, people might be coming from a very manual process. So you're dispatching people across the site. They're going out to where the breakers are. You're opening breakers and you're closing breakers. That violent action, that rush of current, degrades power supplies, degrades fans, degrades chips, degrades boards over time. It's this very, very hot device that has that, that's emitting tons of heat and as soon as you kill the power, all the fans stop. So that heat sits and it kind of cooks those chips. So you want to keep the miners powered up. You want to bring their consumption down. And that's what Foreman provides. With sleep mode, 
power continues flowing, the fans continue spinning, so the miner can cool gracefully. With sleep mode, you can expect a 97.2% power cut. So that's enough to hit those demand response windows and you don't have to open breakers and close breakers. You also do not have to have your site staffed waiting for those midnight or 2 a.m. events. Power control can curtail your facility very quickly. Depending on the constraints that you have, whether that could be a 10 minute response time from a curtailment service provider or peak avoidance if you're worried about the price of electricity in your market going too high, or if you're participating in a very fast acting program like the ones in ERCOT, Foreman can curtail your operation, regardless of its size, in less than a minute. 